I'm Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42. As commissioners deal with the comprehensive review and the myriad of questions about how to be the church, how to change the church, there are some questions floating in the air underlying the conversations. How do we live with less faithfully? How do we keep trusting God and embracing new opportunities as they emerge? Mary Dusek, the chair of the Permanent Committee on Programs for Mission and Ministry, when you presented your report to the commissioners, you spoke directly to this, these questions. I'm not sure how intentional it was. You began in the way we expected, talking enthusiastically about rendezvous and edge, but then your report took a turn we didn't expect. You started talking about what it's like to live with less. Mm. How has that unfolded for your committee? What has it meant for you? Yeah, it's been a big challenge and struggle for us over the past triennium. We've uh, gone to smaller committees, less staff, and so we've had to adjust and look for what's good about having less. So often it's just assumed that less is bad and more is better. And so we're just looking at how we can do less and do it well and know that sometimes doing a whole bunch of things uh, feels a bit more frantic than just doing a few things and doing them well. But it's, it's still, it's still a, tr a struggle for us to try and figure out how to do that. So other insights? You, you, you talk about not being so frantic. Are there any other insights that have begun to emerge for you as you've been living with less? Well, and I think just realizing that um, God is with us like God is with us regardless of our size and this, these sort of size and budgets and resources aren't necessarily the things that God is concerned with but God is concerned with uh, the kingdom and with justice and so we can seek to live out that message no matter how big or small we are no matter how much money we have or don't have those aren't what it's important when we read the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's being in relationship and doing that justice work and just reminding ourselves that while it's okay to be a bit sad that there's less people or we're able to do less, there's still lots that we can do and there's still so many ways that we can do the work of God that we're called to. I think what was striking in your report was the combination we've just heard right here, that combination of realism and at the same time, a hopeful confidence. Absolutely. Where does that come from for you? The gospel of Jesus Christ, sincerely. I mean, we really are an Easter people. And so we can talk about Good Friday, but um, in my church, not a lot of people come Good Friday. They come Easter. They don't want to hear about the despair. They want to hear about the hope. And so we, we forget that sometimes as church. And so it's just a reminder that God is with us. God is so much bigger than just our church or our denomination but God is experienced in so many ways. And as we struggle with our individual churches and my committee and our national church, um, God's gonna be fine. God's here, God's among us. God's spirit is moving and talking to us in our hearts. And as far as the church and our structures can help us encounter God and, and learn about God and teach others about that spirit of love, it's great, but it's just a reminder that the goal is not the church or the structures or my committee or our work, but the goal is that justice and that gospel of Jesus Christ. And living simply and doing it well, living with less and doing it well can help us get there. Absolutely. Mary, thank you very much. You can read Mary's report and find out much more about what's happening here at GC42 by going to gc42.ca.